Hi everyone. So a few weeks ago I recorded a video where I attempted to derive a simple rule of thumb for helping you decide which tariff is best from the range of tariffs that Octopus provide if you've got a solar and battery system. And uh, all, all you needed to know was uh, what your typical consumption was and what your typical generation was for a particular month. And from that you could work out uh, what the relative cost was of the, of the various different tariffs that Octopus provides. So what I did was I actually switched to Octopus Flux for uh, the period of April uh, and I want to know if I made the right decision. Uh, so let me show you briefly uh, what I went through in that particular video uh, and how it then translates to what I, uh, why I made the decision I did uh, and whether or not it's actually worked out to be the right decision in the end. So that tariff choice video essentially boiled down to this one relatively simple chart. Uh, all you needed to do was calculate your the ratio between the amount you generate and the amount you consume for a particular month and then read off on this chart the lowest line um, to give you the tariff with the lowest relative cost. So uh, I've ignored standing charge in this so this is just the sort of variable part of your uh, of your cost for um, each of these tariffs. So let's say you had a, um, a generation to consumption ratio of 0.5, so you're generating only half the amount that you consume. You would read up here and find the tariff which has the, the lowest line, and in this particular case it's Intelligent Go, it's the red line here. So that would give you the, the lowest cost um, for a generation to consumption ratio of 0.5. If you weren't able to get Intelligent Go, you would pick the next one up. In this case, that would be uh, Cozy or maybe Flux or maybe Regular Go. They're all much of a muchness. Um, but you probably wouldn't pick Intelligent Flux because that would give you a higher cost than any of these other tariffs. So for April, my typical generation to consumption ratio, I estimated to be somewhere in the region of 1.1 of to 1.2, so up, up around here. So uh, if I read up approximately on here, um, at around this 1.1, 1.2 level, I would make the assumption that Intelligent Go would be the right tariff for me. Um, however, I'm unable to get Intelligent Go at the moment because we don't have a compatible char EV charger or EV that uh, that would allow us to get Intelligent Go. So uh, we're restricted to these other four um, possible options. And from this, it looks like uh, Flux or Intelligent Flux would actually be the best choice for for us in April. So I actually um, I attempted to switch to Intelligent Flux, but there were a few problems with that. Um, they weren't able to connect to my system initially. Um, I will probably do a whole separate video on that as it happens. But uh, for now, what I ended up having to do was just switch to uh, regular Flux. So that's the yellow line here, um, and I reckon that that would probably be a pretty good choice anyway. So uh, let me show you what actually happened in April in terms of the amount that we generated and the amount that we consumed and see um, if my simple rule of thumb even was even remotely sensible uh, and whether or not it actually turned out to be the correct choice for us. Right, so I've prepared the, another spreadsheet, uh, as you'd expect, and I've entered in the values up here for our consumption and generation, and I've also added um, what we actually imported and exported um, from the Octopus data that I downloaded for the month of April. Um, so as it happens, the first week or so of April, I, when I switched to um, Octopus Flux, it wasn't clear to me whether that had been successful or not. It still showed my tariff as being Octopus Go. So for the first week or so, I wasn't operating our system in the way I normally would under Octopus Flux, where I, where, whereby I would export, force export some of my battery during the um, the 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, peak uh, period, where you get uh, a particularly high export rate. So um, bear bear that in mind for for the rest of this. Uh, but what that means is that um, my simple rule of thumb, which only takes into account the consumption and generation, that gives me um, these uh, blue columns here in this in this chart. But what actually happens? based on my import and export and the half hourly data that I downloaded from Octopus actually result, resulted in the red bars here. So um, estimated using my simple rule of thumb in the blue and what actually happened is in the red. Now um, one slight difference between this chart and the one I showed you previously is this one does include the standing charge. So the standing charge for April 30 days at about 60 pence per day. That adds an additional £18.20 onto every single one of these charts. So um, that's uh, the variable bit would be would be what's shown in this chart 
minus this £18.20. So I, I, I thought I'd better add the, the standing charge on so for the complete picture. Um, but uh, yeah, bear that in mind as well. This is That's why this will look slightly different to the other chart, and I'll, I'll uh, show you that in a second. Um, but what you can see here is um, essentially my choice wasn't too bad actually um, so let me show you um, the octopus flux level uh, that I actually paid was minus 11 pounds 37 that meant that meant that octopus actually paid me 11 pounds 37 even accounting for the standing charge if I had been on intelligent flux I would have received slightly less at um, eight pounds 53 and if I was on cozy I would have received uh, three pounds 56. If I'd been on Intelligent Go, if I'd been able to uh, actually get the Intelligent Go tariff, I would have actually received £21.74, so nearly double what I received on Flux. However, if I'd stuck to just regular Octopus Go, I would have still had to pay Octopus £18.64 um, because obviously the, of that standing charge as well. If it, if it hadn't been for the standing charge, it would have been essentially zero. Um, and you can see I actually, my rule of thumb, more or less got that spot on. Now, um, I believe that the reason these red bars on for these other tariffs are slightly less um, than the uh, than the blue bars in terms of how much Octopus would pay me, I believe that's because of this this um, uh, the slight sort of one week of not quite operating my system in the way I normally would expect to. Uh, if I had any of these other um, tariffs, I was still operating as if I was on Octopus Go, so I wasn't force exporting my battery for that one particular week. If I was if I force exported the battery. Um, in the way I'm doing right now. So I'm, I'm exporting for about two hours or so, or I, I was during April anyway, um, uh, during from about 5 p.m. till 7 p.m. because I get that really good octopus flux export rate. That would probably push up the amount um, I would have earned from octopus. So I think that would have made these blue and these red bars a little bit closer. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens next month. I'll do this same video next month when I've actually got a full month of um, being on uh, Octopus Flux, um, but there's a slight twist because as it happens I have switched to Intelligent Flux for May, so it'll be really interesting to see uh, whether or not I uh, have made the right decision to switch from Flux to Intelligent Flux um, because um, Octopus actually fixed the problems that they were having um, in connecting to my Give Energy system, so they said okay try again if you want to so I did, and I managed to connect to uh, Intelligent Flux for the start of May. So uh, that'll be um, that'll be interesting to compare. Um, but yeah, the uh, the other interesting thing is that um, I think the rank ordering I more or less got spot on. So you can see uh, Intelligent Go followed by Flux, followed by Intelligent Flux, followed by Cozy in terms of the best choice from my estimated rule of thumb video compares uh, exactly correctly with the rank ordering of Intelligent Go regular flux, intelligent flux and cozy from my actual cost. Um, so uh, as far as I'm concerned I think I got I made the right decision and my rule of thumb um, held pretty pretty close. Um, so if you just take a quick look at uh, the intelligent uh, sorry the regular go chart here of 18 pounds and we subtract away the standing charge you, that would bring this down to zero and you can see my uh, generation to consumption ratio is one was actually 1.1 for April. Now, if I go back to um, this uh, rule of thumb chart, 1.1 is about here, and you can see that the at regular go blue line exactly crosses the zero line there, which means I was essentially spot on with my with my estimate. Um, and then you can see if I if I scroll down a little bit here, roughly in line, you can see the next best would be cozy followed by uh, intelligent flux slightly better and then regu uh, regular flux slightly better again and then intelligent go would be the best one so that exactly matches with the rank ordering from this chart here so I'm pretty pleased with that I'm I'm going to say that so far my rule of thumb is holding up fairly well um, but yeah let's let's see what happens in uh, in May I will uh, meet you back here and uh, we will do the same thing and I will show you whether or not I made the right decision switching to intelligent flux or not and of course, if you're not already with Octopus, but you would like to switch, then please feel free to use my referral code, which is scrolling along above my head right now. 
If you do that, then you would receive £50 credit to your account as soon as you've switched. And I would also receive £50 credit. Uh, so that goes a long way to helping support the channel. So thank you very much for all of those who choose to do so. Uh, but that's it for now. I'll have another full stats video for you soon, covering the month of April, giving all of the detailed stats, uh, including you know all the daily breakdowns and all that. Um, but uh, for now, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.